All right, guys, we're going to go into this time. Um, I was trying, I should have made a general for the last one, but this is going to go over just basic Araxor presets. Um, so for just a general Araxor, this is something where you're looking at. I'll bring up some basic images here. Uh, the only thing missing here is Berserker Aura. You basically want some melee gear with this. Um, Death Touch Brace is best on slot, but you can put it in with Torva Gloves if you so wish. Um, nothing can really reflect on this boss or poison it, so you're best off just having the best. It's, it's, it's equivalent to, um, tier 90 gloves, but they don't degrade to dust. Um, besides that, Amulet of Souls, Ring of Death, um, that's mainly just to, in case you kill yourself, it's actually really easy on Reflex. Um, Limitless Sigil is not needed, I don't use, even use that as habit there. Uh, Quiver is just for prayer. The Scythe is because you want the extra distance, and the... Vampirism Scrimshaw is just, yeah, healing. Pretty obvious. Um, as for the inventory, I normally have just one overload, an adrenaline po um, potion. I normally, for me, I don't really try too hard, and I only use one dose of each a kill, and I need you normally use that on P4, depending on what happens. Um, then the ZGS spec for P4. I don't use it anywhere else, but it's for P4. And then the rigor for that spec. Uh, the whip and the scalper is a bladed die switch. And the ceridome and bruise are, well, of course, bruise. Uh, you don't really need that many restores. I generally just take them because why not? I don't really need too much food. I normally do lowering rages on soul split and a not hill, But for the sake of this video, I'm not going to be doing that. Um, ring of death and then... Adrenaline Urn. Um, and the Adrenaline Urn is used for P4. I will show later in the video. And then Rock Tails. And then that's pretty much it. Um, this is pretty simple of a setup. So I will see you now during the middle path with a 1-2 open kill. Alright guys, it's uh, time to do... This is 1-2 doing middle path. This one's actually a lot more difficult than doing um, middle because or top, just because of the way the spiders and the specs work. You have to kill all the spiders on P3. Now this is a beginner's guide, and you can easily skip a lot of the mechanics by just not killing the spiders and doing the one path fast enough. But we're just gonna go ahead with this, making sure everything's active. And yes, I am doing this a back-to-back -back kill. I am not banking for between these videos. So, you're just going to wonder this. Uh, basically, um, P1 is just three, four different or three different types of specs. One you saw right there, which was webbing. You just click on it to get away from it. Uh, the second one is, let's see what we get for the second. Just a visual. Okay, second one is reflect webbing. So, make sure you have auto retaliate turned off. And, um, yeah, there's not much you can do with melee with this member. It's its own little beast there. Um, and then the last one's a cleave. You, um, melee cleaves, you can just easily walk one square back if you're in the two scythe distance. But generally you want a freedom in between, freedom or anticipate in between the five specs, as you see here. I generally don't care too much because whatever, it's low in rage. Um, bad habits for the sake of the video. But you just want to make sure you get your freedom in every, before the fourth attack. So you're going to get, um web here and it will bleed through for this member then you want to get all the way back here for this path back to this point now the goal is to normally fill up this poison bar to about i would say since you're beginning to about 60 percent so in this case boom in bladed dive or mutate bars into that since we're beginning on a spec and uh it's doing suicide spider since it's God damn it, foam. So this is doing a uh, suicide spider here. No, this spider will spawn, and once its bar goes to full, it will die. If it hits you before that, it basically one-shots you. You die. It's like you see, it's really easy to see whenever it goes. And no, it will, it will give the animation of a melee spec. Okay, now these are bombs. If you don't stand near the... Oh, I totally missed them. You see these eggs up here? Yeah, if you don't stand near the eggs, you just take a 2k of the face and now spider minions are going to spawn. Alright, I'm going to have to kill these, but I'm going to wait to the spec. I don't even see what it's doing. Alright. 
Ooh, ooh, ooh. Suicide Spider. Okay. And now that we got about 60%, you generally go come up here to after effect. Now, no, you want to go as low on here as possible. Right, beautiful. Because if it cleaves there, you want to have be able to be in sight distance with this boss. And um, so that you can, with the cleave, step one square back and it won't kill you. And of course, we get the bad RNG where the suicide spider spawns up on the pill pillar. Um, if you do not have shield and barricade like I should have, just come back down and regain like 10% on your bar before you even attempt to go back up. Normally just wait for a spec. So that's what I'm doing is I'm actually, okay, it's going to web shield. Horrible for time, but whatever. This is a path I'm most used to. So you want to come straight back up. Um, there isn't much you can do to avoid that. It just RNG to what happens. But generally here, you want to stand in... Yeah, that's actually perfect. So if a Raxor cleaves you in this situation, he won't drag you forward. You just step one square back. Now we're going into P3. Phase 3. This is a nasty phase. You actually do not want to DP... If you're a beginner, you do not want to do any DPS here. Just let Revo go. Because you're literally going to be waiting out the specs. Which sometimes can take a while. Okay, there goes a spec one. Now, no, these specs can go in any order, and it can do any spec that is done for the entire. I'm gonna let it heal with this. I'm actually gonna let it heal. Um, right here. Now, no, for melee, in general, you do not want to lure the acid spiders into this boss. You never want to do that because it's actually beneficial for phase three. Or phase four, if you do not do that. I don't think I expressed that in the other video. You do not want to lure those acid spiders, and that's why they're not in the video. So, because of uh, now going a little bit of vaccination since we're wait on a waiting game with Araxor, um, the reason why you do not want to do that is because of the fact that the first spec on P3 will always. Oh, wow. Pulsing. Okay. Oh, oops, I did not want to grab that. Um, pulsing, or sorry, the acid spiders will always be the first spec on P4. Or the acid. Not the minions, the acid. Or anything else. All the acid does is increase your range by 50%. One, this helps you with the pet. Entirely. So, that's one good benefit to this. And then we got rid of all the special spiders. Two, if you're skipping something like special spiders... It will make it a lot. Do, 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 do. Luckily, we're low in range. I, I got lucky. I got really lucky there. As you see, that's what happens with a roof left. So I think we're only down the regular minions. It's hard to tell where the two squares are. Okay, so now we're gonna get the regulars. All right. There's two. There's another. Suicide Spider, typical. Alright, now at this point you want to turn your adrenaline urn or had it on the whole kill. It really doesn't matter, I don't know where you're at. Alright, you want to try to go into this phase of 100% adrenaline. Alright, now that you have this in, we're going to use adrenaline urn. So, if you didn't see the last video, this is basically, we allow ourselves to fall out of combat with the Drenon Urn, or just string some charges out, and then we go straight back into combat. Okay, ZGS. Now, if you do not have a ZGS, please, 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 right now, switch to, okay, I forgot, I did Acid Path, that's, you can spec anything at this point, I am staying corrected. And I want my spec. Thank you. Okay. Whatever. This point. Okay. That's massive damage.
And right there, if the spider, if you start seeing bleed, just move away. It really is that simple. Let auto take this, let Revo go. Or I've got him on auto retaliate. Boom, done. It really is that simple. Um, note if you do not have a ZGS, you need to do a ZGS spec at the end of that because, or not a ZGS, a Zerk. They would knock it down to 50k as soon as possible. That's one of the main reasons I have shown you guys for beginners to clear your minions. Because if you don't clear your minions and you're not going down path 1, there's a good chance that it will auto summon a mirror back and kill you. If you don't get that 50k DPS. Now no, if you're going top path for this, it will litter... Oh, let me... Good turn. All right. Uh, if you go top path, you have a one spec window because it will always do the asset spec you saw there where it will pull the full asset over because you didn't go on path 2. If you go on path 2, it's a little bit more random because it can only pull over a little bit of acid because you dealt with the acid in phase, in that path, on phase 2 in this path. So, it really is dependent on that. And as of the end of the kill, you switch to the luck of doors before you loot a rack store. Of course, for both the kills I've done today trash so hopefully this was a little bit informative it's a little bit of a butcher guy but this was pat our top and bottom top and middle were open and this was going down the middle path so hopefully this was informative at least help you guys out a little bit with melee just as a final reminder always stand two squares of distance and make sure you kill your minions if you're not comfortable dealing with them in phase four they have sped it up a quite a bit, so you're not going to sit there for 10, 20 minutes. But this is actually the second most difficult combination there is. So thank you very much, and have a wonderful day.